Hi, this is a quick little review video about a new iPad app called Duet. It allows you to share your screen from your Mac onto your iPad. I'm going to demo it today with one of the older iPad 3s and also with a new iPad Air 2. So it's very easy to use. There's an app that you can download from the Apple Store called Duet. It will install automatically onto your iPad and you just run that. Uh, the first time you run it, it will give you instructions on how to download a small client to install onto your Mac, which I've already done. And this appears up in the um, menu bar at the top. At the moment, it just says uh, open Duet on your, on your iPad and then connect with your, either a lightning cable or this is the iPad 3, so it's got the 30-pin uh, connector. So... I just then connect the um, USB cable into the Mac, which I'll do now, and it comes up straight away. There's nothing else to do. So in this little client here now says uh, DUA connected um, to an iPad. I'm currently running version 0 0.95, 0.9.5, sorry, and there's a couple of settings here you can change the resolution and the frame rate. So at the moment I've got a regular resolution and I've got 60 frames per second um, set. So if I open something like I will open uh, just iTunes, that'll be easy. So open iTunes and you should see I can just drag that across onto the iPad screen and I can just drag, I can just drag that window back across onto the Mac. So very easy, you just drag it backwards and forwards. And with this regular setting, um, I found it very, very smooth. You can see there it's pretty smooth. Um, I found that if you set the resolution to the Retina, the high performance version, I did find there's a bit of a, a lag as you Grab it again. So I've got the screen on this side, and there's a bit of a lag as you drag it across to the other screen. Um, so I think it's probably slightly easier to work with the. Uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely a bit of a lag here, which makes it slightly harder to work at. But quite usable. There you go, it's gone full screen. And I can minimize it again on here. And I'll go back to the Mac and I'll select resolution regular. You hardly see any difference. If you get very close, you can see the resolution is slightly less. But I find in that mode it's it's actually slightly more responsive but that's just using the, the just the simple dual screens definitely what I'll probably be using it more for is when I'm using Final Cut Pro so if I start Final Cut Pro on my Mac it will start up and this is the normal view that I normally work on when I'm just using my Mac I've got my timeline um, and the the view is up here on on the screen um, in Final Cut Pro, if you go to Window, and we've got, we can either select to show events on the second display, or show viewers on second display. So if we show viewers on second display, it will now put the the main image, uh, the, the viewer window onto the iPad, and it now leaves more space on this screen to show all my different clips. And as you can see, it's very quick at responding. Um, I can select a clip, I can play, and it's playing on the uh, second monitor. Uh, I can quickly skim over and play it on the second monitor. Or I can go down to my timeline, actually see the project I've been working on and play that. And I think this is um, very impressive, very impressive. And this is, again, just using the... Um, 
the normal resolution but for what I'm using it for it's, it's absolutely perfect and extremely responsive. So that's using the iPad 3 and just a, a MacBook Air. Um, let's have a look, see if it, there's any difference in performance when using a iPad Air 2. So now we're just going to do a similar test using the new iPad Air 2. So this has a faster processor in the iPad than the iPad 3. And it's also using the lightning connector as opposed to the 30 pin connector. So again, we will just start the Duet app on the iPad. And I actually shut down the app on here. So I'm just going to launch the Duet app on the on the Mac as well. And then it appears up in the in the bar. And then we're just going to connect the lightning cable. Plug that in and we should all start. So there we go. We've got the uh, the second screen displayed here. And if we look in this app at the settings, we can see that we're actually at the retina high performance setting. And for the frame rate, we're also at 60 frames per second. So we're at the highest um, speeds and resolution. And I can drag this screen across. And I notice immediately that this is smoother and quicker. On the old iPad, there was a bit of a delay as you started dragging things across um, when you're in the high resolution retina mode um, and the mouse is more responsive. Uh, so I think if I was using the uh, iPad Air 2, I'd be quite happy to use the retina setting. If I was using the iPad 3, I'd probably stick with the, uh, the slightly lower resolution, but have um, better performance. So that was what do they call it? They call it resolution regular, energy efficient. Um, but I just find it performs slightly better with the with the iPad 3. So again, we'll start Final Cut Pro. Um, again, at the moment, we're all, everything's on this one screen. We go into Window, show the viewer on the second display. And we've got that, and this time it's a, a Retina image. So we can play it from there. So we can control things by clicking on the um, iPad screen using the mouse, obviously. Oh, it's, it's at the, uh, it's at the end of the film. So rewind it, start it again. Yeah. So you can you can click on the uh, on the screen on this side, or you can move your mouse on the main monitor and see things moving across there. The other option you had was window show events on the second display and then it shows your your libraries and your projects and your clips on this monitor and it shows the the viewer is on the main monitor again very very responsive very very usable um so yes there you go that was just a, a very quick demonstration it's only been out a few days i think um, I downloaded it yesterday, so just beginning to play, but it looks like a, a very usable um, app. I've just got one final thing to show you um, that I didn't realise until I started uh, editing this little video. If I um, move one of these screens across, so I've got my background task window here. I just moved it onto the iPad screen. And uh, I had said that you have to click using the mouse obviously to uh, to see things on this screen but I've actually found that you can click on the uh, on your iPad and uh, actually drag things around the screen using your finger and uh, play the play the clip pause the clip rewind it so this second monitor becomes a, a touch screen as well very very clever